What If is Marvel's first ever animated series. When the show was first announced at D23 in 2019, I was instantly on board as it combined two things that I love, Marvel and animation. I must admit though that the first Captain Carter episode didn't impress me unfortunately, mainly because it was pretty much just a retelling of Captain America the First Avenger, with the only difference being that Peggy took the super soldier serum instead of Steve. Luckily by episode 2, the What If T'Challa became a Star-Lord episode. The show started to pick up as rather than only tweaking one thing from an MCU movie, it was a completely original concept featuring T'Challa who takes the mantle of Star-Lord and leaves the Ravengers which surprisingly included Thanos. Knowing that Chadwick Boseman sadly won't be appearing again as Black Panther after What If, hit hard and made me wish that Marvel developed a relationship between T'Challa and Nebula in live action, they had great chemistry together in the episode. My favourite episode of them all was the Doctor Strange one which was way darker than I expected. I have a funny feeling that we'll be getting some iteration of this version of Doctor Strange in Multiverse of Madness next year, as Marvel's hinted that anything from What If could be brought over to live action. I couldn't believe that Marvel had the balls to end the Doctor Strange episode on a depressing note, which is unheard of for Marvel with the one exception of Infinity War. I know that many critics didn't like how the Party Thor episode portrayed Thor as a reckless jokester, but I thought it was a clever twist on one of Marvel's more serious characters. It's unheard of for an animated series to bring over the cast from live action to voice their characters in animation. I congratulate them for this, but it's unfortunate that Robert Downey Jr, Chris Evans and some other stars from live action didn't return to reprise their roles for What If. To be honest, it does take a while to get used to the animation style and weird character designs, one of the aspects of What If that I thought could have been improved upon. Overall, I give What If a 7 out of 10. I wasn't a fan of the Captain Carter and Zombie episodes, but the other episodes were very good for saying that this is Marvel Studios' first time dipping their toes in animation. Thanks for watching the video, let me know your thoughts on What If in the comments section below.